Hello, so basically, we've had a lot go on. Um, I went and recorded a, another episode, and um, it brought me into the nether, and then we had some villager issues. But when I went to go check it out, I had no, I had my, my voice wasn't on it. So basically, you're going to get a nice long uh, time lapse of what happened. But at the end, you'll see how we got here. Here, I'll take a look. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this massive village. So <laughs> we'll we'll go through the time lapse. I'll uh, I'll talk you through basically what you're gonna be seeing, and um, we'll be right back. So initially, we ended up deciding to go into the Nether. That was where we we kind of left off, and um, we had to go and grab some some Nether brick. So I, I picked up my, my map, and uh, I remembered a lake of lava, like around where we found the buried treasure. So I went running over to where that was, seeing maybe if I could find some lava before then. Oh, yeah, we found some uh, some illagers, and uh, this was the start of our problems. Even though we killed them pretty quickly, you can tell in the top right-hand corner, um, we got the bad omen, which uh, that'll come up. Then as I was running around, I could hear lava under my feet, and sure enough, there was a nice little lava lake there. So uh, we got our obsidian uh, pretty quickly. Mine that up pretty quick. You, you're probably glad that I time-lapsed this, because, uh, you know, mining obsidian is probably one of the most boring things in in Minecraft. Um, so we, we, headed, we head back and uh, put everything away, pr pretty much get everything ready so that we can um, uh, go through the portal. I built it up really quick and I was hoping I was hoping we would find a a fortress rather quickly uh, that unfortunately didn't really occur um, I was immediately attacked by a ghast you know tons of flat space it spawned immediately um, I started collecting some quartz I, I tell you what the textures are great oh the texture of netherrack is is actually quite beautiful even the new uh, quartz block here that, that, I mean, we'll probably get into the actual quartz, but um, just the quartz block is nice. Uh, the soul sand has changed, and I, I I stared at the soul sand for a little bit. Look, <laughs> right there. And uh, it was it's just beautiful. But we ended up um, um, going around, destroying some lava. One of, my, one of my key things to do to see if I've been there, I know a lot of people like to pillar straight up but what I do is I'll block off the lava and if I if I cross a path where I've blocked off lava I know that I've been there before and basically the first you know two minutes that you just saw there I went around in a circle I, I didn't even realize it but one I broke through a wall and look and sure enough I saw my <laughs> I saw my portal there uh, that was a little disheartening um, we then went through and um, made a, a nice long bridge across a nice long lava lake. It was, uh, it, it went on forever. But we eventually made it across, kind of worked our way up, and um, right around here, I think, is where I saw the the um fortress and we ended up running toward it yeah right there and we you know this was not just one fortress there was actually i i think there was two fortresses combined um speaking of which i also want to point out a few things that i've noticed while being uh in the new snapshot is they've made some significant changes to uh, the ai of blaze so blaze used to just fly around and then if they saw you um, you know, they would, they would fly up and, and they would just start attacking you, but they, they never actually followed you. And, uh, I, I noticed that in the snapshot, the blazes are actually, that they, they will follow you. I made a little, uh, house when I, when I first saw the blazes, I'm sure we're coming up to it right now. Uh, when we first saw the blazes and, um, they would actually go inside the little, the little hut. They would follow me into the little hut. It was crazy. It was, I, I couldn't believe Blazes had that ability. You know, um, 
So much so that I ended up staying a lot longer than I probably needed to. But as you can see, we found a whole lot of stuff. Two, two diamond horse armors in here. Yep, so here's the here's the blaze, and if you can see, they actually they actually path toward you. It's more than just um, them firing at you or or you know going in off in a bunch of different directions. If if you hide from them, they will actually come come and find you. See, he he followed me up the stairs. So I this is this has got to be new. I don't remember seeing any notes about the change in AI here. But um, there, there is definitely a change. I mean, I just had to sit in there and just wait for them to see me and then come down. Come into this little hole. They would come into the little hole there, and, and that's where I would fight them. I was pretty astounded that, that they did that. So I ended up uh, getting about, I think, 11 blaze rods from them. Um, blaze rods seem to be dropping a whole lot more than I recall them dropping. Um they would they would drop almost almost every time they dropped here and uh i think i'm still playing in normal mode yeah so i ended up getting 11 and we ended up uh heading back because i only had one food left um, now i had no food left and um of course you know i didn't take the path that i initially made i made my own way back but um i pretty much knew the general direction i was in so we just kind of made it made another bridge to get back to where we were and uh, it was pretty straightforward however what ends up coming up now is the bad omen you know the bad omen we got it, it never really I, I I'm not really familiar with what they actually did I mean I knew they created uh, uh, raids in villages so when you when you hit a village they would create a raid and I knew I knew basically what a raid was but I was unprepared for the uh, abysmal abysmal raid that would happen so we're gonna slow this down a little bit more going in here and uh, so I, I, I basically put everything eat a few stews just to see what they are and um, we basically are gonna get ready we're gonna see what the raid is all about here well I'll just let you watch This is this is how your junk drawer gets really big. You just start throwing things in it that, that you don't need. As you can see, we can we're getting ready. We know we know we're gonna do the raid. We we'll go into the village, and here here comes the raid. Raid starts. I hear the noise of the sheep all sped up. I decided to leave. So here they are, and I'm like, all right, you know, no problem. We'll, we'll kill them. I I had to hide a few times, jump in some water. Which they don't follow you in the water. The moment you leave the village, they... Oh, yeah. Look at this llama. Watch the llama. The llama's fighting with me. That was that was cool that the llama will actually fight with you. Um, so then I killed them all. And then another raid ended up coming up. And so I'm like, what is going on? I, I don't recall two raids. And then I couldn't kill them all. I don't know where they ended up going. I, I ended up having to search all around the village. No idea where they where the raid was was happening. No idea why they would keep coming. But uh, I have since found out that um, yeah, you get a uh, you get a lot. You get you get a lot of waves. So um, I still had both my villagers. I was still a pretty happy camper. Couldn't found a kitty cat. Couldn't find the uh, where they were coming from next. So they do end up coming from uh, that direction there. I just had to uh, walk away from the village a little bit for them to spawn. Which I would assume they are already spawned because they're showing up on the raid. But just me searching for them a little bit more. Hoping they were maybe up here where the where the farmer was living initially.
They really like to hide, even in a small village like this, with like six, seven houses. No idea where they were. They, you had to like really, really search for them. I'll show you another uh, odd thing with the the illagers that I, I found out, and um, I'm not sure if it comes with this raid or the next the next raid that comes up. You'll see. Uh, I cross the water, and all of a sudden they appear. There they are. So I tried to keep them in the water because they're slow. Oh, look at him. He, he just darts straight off. So watch. I, I get him dead. And yeah, I die a couple of times here. This is this is not happy. Nighttime. I probably should have gone and slept because, you know, monsters. Alright. So now we have that beast. Here's something funny about the beast. You'll see that the... The, the, the crossbow vindicator on top of him, um, he actually attacks his own beast. He, he's, shooting arrow, he's shooting crossbow at, him, at his own guy. If you see, he always aims down. You might be able to get a clear view here. But he's not attacking me. He's attacking the beast. And then he's attacking me. So then I kill him. But during all that, of course, they kill my farmer. I felt so terrible that they killed my farmer. My cartographer was still there, but I mean, now, now you're down to, to one villager. So we needed to do something. So here's where we pick up uh, in the episode, right, right around here. So, we have messed up pretty badly. We, um, we had the bad omen, if you remember, and we came back through the portal, and, uh, yeah, well, they started coming, and then while we were getting attacked, we had another raid come in, and he, he ended up, they ended up killing my farmer, so we now only have one villager. And I've gone in, and I've kind of protected him a bit. He is around here somewhere. Where did I do with him? Oh yeah, he's over here. So we have taken our villager. He is now underneath this little this pillar here, which means we need to um, do some improvements to the village. So we got our bell. But now we only have one villager, and it's going to be kind of hard for them to breed if there is only one villager. So what we're going to do in this episode is we are going to go find another village. And we may stay in that village or bring the villagers back this way. So uh, I, my sword's about to die, so why don't we make another sword. So we'll make another sword, and uh, just in case, and we'll head out and um, maybe go what east. We'll go east and try to see if we can find another village somewhere on this map. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll just make our way and try to find another village, bring some villagers back, have a good old time. Maybe find an adventure on the way. I don't remember these maps being so big. Maybe maybe it was just me and I never really used them all that much, but man, we can just run and run and run and like nothing happens. We barely move on the dial. There's a donkey. Oh, you know what? I, what, what am I thinking? I have a horse. Let's go jump on the horse because we got a, a saddle. Uh, in the nether and um, one of the man what do they call them one of those, those things that the pillagers ride I can't think I can't think of it but they drop the saddle too so let's jump on the horse where here we are come on buddy here we go look at that now we can 
now we can cover some ground. You don't have to worry about me. Oh, there's, there's Mr. Donkey again. Brown sheep. We may get a little uh, lag because we are looting chunks that we haven't been before. But what we are looking for is a new village. So far, nothing. I don't really want to go over water. I guess I'm going to have to. Oh, oh, here we go. We can go around. The Nile is drying up. Alright, so we haven't been up this way. Mountains. There's a lot of mountains here. There we go. Nice little cave. I love how easy horses can get up hills. So much easier than jumping. Alright, what do we got? We got a little forest over there. Plains or something. There's a whole lot of sheep. Alright. I see horses. I get the feeling that they could... And let's, um... Let's see what we got here. We got a nitwit. With a dead plant. We got a key cat. Ouch. We got... Oh, we got a stone cutter. Ooh. You know, maybe we want to move our, our stuff over here. We have armor. He's got pickles. Alright. We may, we, we may want to move over here. What is this? A blast furnace? What's a blast furnace? I've never even heard of a blast furnace. Oh, we got... They like to store cactuses, I guess. What, who are you? Who are you? You're a mason. Oh, we got lots of... We got lots... This is a big village. Oh, we may want to move here. We may, may want to move here. This is pretty. Here's the iron golem. <laughs> Here's the bell. <laughs> Your house is underwater, buddy. You're... <laughs> Your house is underwater. What? What? What are you doing? What is that? Is that? Was that a cactus? A... Minecraft mechanics, physics, Minecraft physics. Hey. Okay. So. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to. We're going to move. We're going to move here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bit of a, a house structure here for myself. All right? We'll, um, we'll make some farms maybe over in that area. Um, we'll actually probably cover this top part down here. And then uh, I think we're going to make a wall around this place. We'll, we'll do some defense in case uh, we get any other raids. So let me do that and um, I'll be back.
on, I'm just trying to... Oh, how is there a raid? <coughs> how did they raid inside my base? What is going on? This, this is not good. happening oh my goodness I just keep dying I cannot seem to get oh my goodness I I cannot I, I can't seem to hit them I, I need I need to hide. Oh my goodness. They're just running around like crazy. I can't even eat. Oh. Can I can I hide? Alright. Alright, alright, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Where are they? Come on, guys. Goodness. What, what do we have another raid going? What what why is it going up? I haven't protected this Oh my goodness. That can't be good. What is what is going on here? still one mob where I hope the villagers are all set okay wait do I have another raid coming where where is it coming from why why all these raids There they are, oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he came behind me. Oh, I can't even get out now. I can't get out. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, again, he came behind me. Where are all these people? Whoa. We need to let's come in here. Get all our equipment back. No, where are you going? Stay here. Ooh, somebody's hitting me. Ooh, ooh, they're still hitting me. Alright. Where are they? Where are they? I'm just... Did you, did, you guys didn't kill all your... Oh my goodness. He's, he's coming after me. It's still coming? What is this non-stop? What is going on? Well, this has got to be broken. I mean, this has got to be... This is this is way too many ra raids. We really need to protect these villagers, is what we need to do. So welcome back. Um, as you can see, we went through quite the trouble to get this set up. Um, we, you know, I kept saying that was broken, but nope. That's, that's how it works now. You get wave after wave of the raid. They don't just come all at once. They, you know, after about the third or fourth one, they started having uh, witches appear. I, I was fighting a witch at one point. I wish I would have had these uh, llamas around because they 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 do like to attack. And uh, I did find out that in the new snapshot we're in, the merchant will actually attack the illagers. So that is uh, nice. Um, so basically what we've done since you last saw was we um we created a little tree farm over there in the distance and uh w we cut down a whole bunch of trees and we put a wall around the entire village just i mean everywhere all the way around so we should be nice and protected should we get another raid um so what i'm going to do now in the next episode is uh we're actually going to, we can start doing the good stuff. We can start doing the bigger stuff, you know, find out what, what this guy's all about, you know, organize our, our villagers. I see a farmer over there. There's a farmer up here. So, um, we'll flatten this area a little bit, make a, a farm because we do need a, a food source of sorts. Uh, I did see pigs somewhere around here. There, yeah, right there. So we'll, uh, we'll keep, keep those guys, maybe make a few more pens and, uh, that's what we'll do probably in the next episode. 
Um, but for now, that's how we got here. Uh, you can see I threw a lot of lights. So I'm enjoying lanterns way more than torches. What I'm going to hope to do is I threw a bunch of torches here, but I, I honestly don't want to use torches on the ground anymore. If anything, I want to make little little lamps like you see over there. Um, just a little, just a little lamp with, uh, with a lantern or just a little pole with a lantern coming off of it. Maybe we'll put that around, uh, create some roads, stuff like that. So we'll, we'll start playing with the villagers in the, the next episode and organizing them and uh, it should be cool. Oh, he dropped leads. Oh, this, these are going to be useful. These are going to be quite useful. I'm, I'm not giving them back. They're, they're mine now. All right, so we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and subscribe, like, comment. I, I read them all, and uh, uh, if you have any advice for <laughs> what I'm doing, feel free to feel free to comment and let me know. I, I love the advice. Um, so thanks again. Have a good one.